Your guide to the truth. The new American Media dot com. Well, aside from this just being a good, righteous cause, I mean, there there are a lot of those that you know, and it, you, you can't chase every little issue that the government throws at you, and um, you know, fight inch by inch while they laugh and take a mile behind your back. But there's something about this issue of, of tiny homes for the homeless being stolen by the city government that is so not just offensive or tragic because there are bigger tragedies in the world but there's a certain absurdity to this that that really makes me want to go look you could look you if you didn't know what government was fundamentally like this is it it steals from people it, it, the most destitute of people it is the primary cause of homelessness. And I'm like, just step back for a second here. We, not, not, no, no, not literally with the camera, but uh, we, we are I had here, to do we are, it. We are here, yeah, cameraman thinks he's funny. Uh, we, are, we are here protesting city government stealing tiny homes from homeless people. Like, what's, what's, are we gonna be back next week to protest LEPD's new policy about kicking stray puppies? Like, are we gonna, are, are, are we gonna have to have a rally to stop them from going to war with Canada? Like, what is next? Well, I heard they'll be forming a committee to discuss and the debate such Canada, things. Yeah. yeah. So basically, the, the crux of the issue is these tiny homes were built to get people out of the elements, and, and residents didn't want it in the neighborhood. They, they, they declared it bulky trash, bulky items for disposal. All right. So there's somewhere in between throwing these things out and plopping well, homes down in parking spaces. The best thing I heard from the, uh, one of the complainants at the, the smokescreen press conference earlier today uh, was like, I'm a, I'm a taxpayer. Well, then you're part of the problem because you're funding the assholes who are making these people homeless and keeping them homeless by stealing the tiny homes. So you, you want a better slave master. You want your slave master to do a better job of, of taking care of you. How about we look at freedom for a second? How about we look at nonviolence and respect for individual rights? And it, it, despite the increasing apparent complexity of the problem, the answers remain embarrassingly simple. Don't hurt people, don't steal their stuff. And government is premised on hurting people and stealing shit. So the problem here is obvious, and really the solution is obvious. And it, it might not be easy, it might be a long-term solution to a big long-term problem, but rendering government obsolete, abolishing it peacefully, taking it apart from the top down, restoring power to the communities, empowering people like Elvis Summers, private citizens who do not depend on violence for their funding. Empower them or allow them, get out of their way and taking care of each other, taking care of people, because we're more than capable of it. But when you have a few angry constituents used as justification for violence on a citywide scale, well, yeah, no kidding, you're gonna have a problem. Well, you're living in a tiny home right now. Yeah. A I've little been, unconventional. I've been, I've been living in a 19 foot, yeah, 19 foot RV trailer for the last year and a half. Um, what, what do we have, like uh, eight, eight by, 14 square feet or something of, of living space. Uh, the and, yeah. <laughs> so and don't belong to me. Well, one of the things that I'm in the process of right now in Arizona is homesteading. I, you know, I bought a little piece of land and I got my, my 10 acres of heaven. I'm working on the fence first to keep all the buries out from the county government and anybody Because you, you don't want tiny homes popping up on the perimeter. Heaven forbid. And, uh, <laughs> but it's, no, no, it's funny buries, because... The bureaucrats. The bureaucrats. The bureaucrats. Are, uh, the bury, no and, bureaucrats uh, around. But, but the funny thing is, you are actually inviting people to come live on your... Well, yes. at least uh, throughout Stay, the process of building yeah, it. It's yeah. pretty funny. And, you know, one of the things... That, uh, there's an important connection between what we're doing out there and what's happening here and what... You know, I feel like I'm, I'm motivated by the same compassion as, as Elvis is. He's just more effective at actually helping people immediately, building tiny homes for homeless people. Whereas what I think the real long-term solution is, is empowering people to homestead, allowing human beings to reclaim their natural birthright. Like, how the heck is it that in today's day and age, 
the average human being can't claim a piece of land and build a house and be self-sustaining and healthy and happy and comfortable. The fact that we have given that up, that we are denying people that, is obscene. And if we have to do a little civil disobedience or dance around the county government a little bit to say, we're going to build a house, then we're going to build a house. And, you know, let, it, let them come at me. You know, and, and, and I think what the, the way Elvis has handled this is just, uh, you know, really representative of, of the sort of grace that I hope to aspire to because everything that we're doing out there, as much as it is creating the ideal life for myself and my family, it's really about creating the tools and the open source technology and techniques, uh, you know, building on earthship concepts, off-grid homes that feed you, that have built-in greenhouses, that have thermal mass, that don't require any heating or cooling uh, you know, external bills for, for that, that uh, collect rainwater from the sky, you know, and there, there are places in America where that is illegal, where the government claims to own the rain falling on your house. Like, I, but there's a butterfly effect to this. One set of actions can impact a butterfly flapping their wings on one corner of the planet can create a hurricane in the other. Yeah. It's, it's all moving forward. Tell people about where they can check out your series. It's uh, thefreedomline.com is where people can get all of that as well as free downloads of our book, Freedom, and uh, all the other gear, all of our YouTube videos you can find through there. And, you know, it's, it's sad that a lot of people are avoiding what really is the simple, easy answer. And it, it might take a little bit of thought and thoughtfulness of applying this to the mess that we find ourselves in, but just real consistent. Don't hurt people, don't take their stuff. We will find our way out of this together. Excellent. Adam, thank you for your time, sir. Anytime. Thanks.